do it. Attention, duelist. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, <coughs> who is this? This is Miles from Nexus Core. Uh, just gonna give you my, like, this this is probably, definitely, 100%, maybe, my, uh, like, last Shadow Pounder Avenger deck. Because they are just, it. like, dude, no, it, they're... I don't know. They're maybe I might release better support in the next set. Who knows? You're right, but may maybe I'm a bad player. Maybe I'm really terrible. Maybe. Or maybe my love for this deck it just isn't strong enough. But I have played with like every single Revenger build, and like it just doesn't make the cut against like G the, like in the G format. It used to be really good, but G Guardians have kind of shut down the Legion. So I was just like, you know what? Let's make one final build for a final hurrah. And this build is honestly my favorite out of all the ones that I've made. So, let's go right in. Um, that shouldn't be there. So, the first part is... I need to flip this retro. I need to see, actually. So, uh, the first one is for Phantom, Bla Phantom Blaster Abyss. Uh, y'all know this card. <clears throat> it legions with, um, Blaster Dark, Revenger Abyss, and its skill is, uh, after it attacks, you counter blast two. Um, during the turn that it performed Legion, you counter boss two, retire three of your own Revenger specific rear guards, and restand it. Still the ace unit of the deck. Yes. The next grade three, though, is Phantom Blaster Dragon, the Break Ride. So, this was pretty much like the new addition that I added into it. Its skill is, um, on ride, limit break, soul blast three, your Vanguard gains 10k, and the skill, when it attacks, uh, you may choose up to, you may choose three of your rear guards, they don't need to be a Revenger, and retire them. If you do, draw two cards, counter charge three, and, uh, for the, for that battle, your opponent can't guard with grade one or higher units. Um, there's like a fun combo that I like to go into, but, uh, I mainly use it because it's, um, it's another grade three that has a blaster name, and... The, my, my, my previous Revenger decks kind of bricked pretty hard if I didn't have a Blaster Vanguard. So this finally, like, all the grade 3s in this deck are Blaster. So this finally fixes that issue. So now I can use shit like Charon without, like, anything getting in the way. Uh, grade 2s for Blaster Dark Revenger Abyss. Um, its skill is on call when it's placed on Rearguard. If you have a Revenger Vanguard, Counter Blast 1. Uh, choose on your opponent's grade one or less rear guards and retire it. You don't really use it for the skill. Um, the turn that you stride to Phantom Blaster Diablo, you can use it to, you know, screw up their field even more than it's already gonna be. But, uh, you mainly just run it because it's the mate for the grade three. Um, oh, forgot to mention, another thing about this, about Phantom Blaster Dragon, when you ride it, um, you can retire one of your rear guards and search your deck for any blaster in its, any unit with Blaster and Scarn meta to hand. So yes, you can add its own copy. You can add your next grade three to break ride next turn, or you can add both Blaster Darks. Anything that has Blaster in the name. As Jose said, you can run like Phantom Blaster Overlord. That's kind of what it was originally intended for. Um, next grade two is four Blaster Dark Revenger. You can run Blaster of Java if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ojamas are the best. Um, when it's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, if you have a Revenger Vanguard, Counterblast 2, retire one of your opponent's uh, units in the front row. Um, you don't really use it for that skill, you just use it because, you know, if it's called in front or on top of Charon, you get the unflip. Dorian. Dorian, my bad. I run three uh, Fighting Spirit Revenger McCart. This is still really viable for the deck, especially for, like, the plays it makes because the combo, the main combo of the deck literally leaves you without a field, so you kind of want a superior call engine next turn. Its skill is um, on Legion. Search your deck for uh, one grade one or less Revenger and superior call it at rest, so you mainly just call it to make a field for retire targets. I only run three because four seems like too much, and also because of this one grade two. Uh, Adroit Revenger Ternon. I love this card. I only run one, you only need one. Its skill is um, on Legion. Uh, you counter blast one, and your Vanguard gains the skill. When it attacks, if your opponent doesn't retire one of their rear guards, they can't guard. So if you use that with Legion, they need to retire two units in total. So if they have like, you know, two units on rear guard and one has resist, 
and they're five damage, GG to them. Or if they have an empty field, GG to them. Or if they have, you know, only one rear guard and you have Abyss, that's it. So it just, it it can make some fun winning plays. It's like a more fun Diablo in my opinion. Fun for you? Yes, definitely fun for me. Uh, grade ones for Barrier Troop Revenger Dorant. You, you guys know this skill. Um, if you have a Revenger Vanguard, when Blasterk is placed in the same column as this unit, you can unflip one damage. Uh, what people still don't know, apparently, is that if you have a column and you call Blaster Dark Revenger on top, uh, of, on top of one Dorant, both their effects still go off. There's like a timing window or some bullshit like that, but it does work and you get to unflip too. Like, that literally saved my ass today. So, um, that's what I like doing for it, because, like, Unflipping two damage at the, just for calling one unit is pretty nice. Uh, two, Transient Revenger Masquerade. I literally only run this card because um, it's a Revenger target for Makar. Because you don't really want to you don't really want to superior call your uh, Dorrance for retiring, you know, because you want to use their skills. So this is like this is just these these are literally just here for search targets for um, Makar. It also helps that its art looks pretty cool. It's art is pretty sick, yeah. It's a guy in like a suit with edgy white hair and uh, barbed wire. Wielding barbed wire, so that's pretty sick. Um, three, Pitch Black Sage Charon. Uh, this card's skill is, um, well, you don't really you need it for its second, for its first skill, because I don't run Blaster Arc Diablo. Uh, but its second skill is great. Um, while you are retiring, while you are, you know, retiring units for the cost of your Shadow Powder and Vanguard's ability, uh, or your Vanguard's ability, um, this unit counts as, or grade, sorry, grade three blaster's ability. So your Vanguard needs to be a grade three blaster, or higher. Um, this unit counts as two targets. So, like, you could do, you know, the first turn stride be Aura Geyser, and uh, you need to retire two units for that. So it helps you not minus, because, like, if this is the heart, you know, if you have any of the grade threes as your heart, which is the reason why I'm running the break right now, um, then you just need to retire this, and you get your plus, you know, two on top of a. Uh, your plus two on top of your triple drive. I run three because um, I can't run. Uh, I can't run um, Dark uh, Dark Heart Trumpeter in this deck because it was a Soul Blast one, and the Soul Blast gets in the way of the Break Ride skill because it's a Soul Blast three. So I run three to hopefully see it more often. And I mean, Judge Bow can always get one out for you. Um, go there. And finally, four PGs. Uh, Dark Revenger Macleer is what I run uh, because I, I just like to have more Revengers in this deck because I don't want to get stuck in a position where I need to retire. Uh, Revengers, you know, for like Legion skill, and I don't have them. Um, I've seen a lot of decks run uh, the uh, GPG um, Karma Collector, but at the time that I made this deck, it was kind of expensive, and I didn't have the money for it. Uh, so it's like, try it out. I mean, I don't see the need to run it because the Break Ride has the Counter Charge engine, so it's pretty nice. But um, yeah, I prefer using this. Also, art is way cooler. All right, Grid Zeros. So you have your starter, Judge Bow Revenger. Um, it's uh. When this unit boosts an attack, and the attack hits, if you have a Revenger Vanguard, Phantom. if you have a Phantom Vanguard, sorry, thank you, Richard, which again, all the grade threes are Phantoms, so this deck basically doesn't brick. It, like, that's the whole reason why I run the break ride. Um, if the attack hits, uh, oh, and also, it doesn't need to boost a Phantom Vanguard. It doesn't need to boost a Phantom Vanguard. It can be a rear guard, and the attack doesn't need to hit a Vanguard. It can hit a rear guard as well. They eroded it, like, two years ago. Um, so if that happens, you counter bust one, move it to soul, search your deck for two grade ones. Just, like, any grade one. Any Shadow Paladin grade one. They don't need to be Revengers. Uh, or less, even. And, um... You call them to rear guard at rest, so it helps to get out your, you know, Dorans for your unflip targets and your Charons for your retiring. Uh, it's just a great starter. And then trigger lineup. Um, I run eight crit. I just like using all the Revenger criticals. Uh, so you know, critical lineup literally doesn't matter. You want to run Revengers though because this deck retires Revengers mainly. For heal, um, Revenger again. And for the draws, I actually run Howl Owl because of its skill. Uh, 
act, move it to soul, choose you and give it 3k. You don't really use it for the 3k. You use it because if you don't have the soul for the break ride, you know, like if aura geyser happened or something like that, um, then uh, you can just move it to the soul and you'll have the soul for the next turn that you ride. So it's just, I mean, it, it hasn't gotten in my way. So it helps pretty much. It, it, it helps pretty well. Uh, G units, I run two Dark Dragon uh, Spectral Blaster Diablo. Um, its skill is... I've honestly barely used it, I don't even remember its skill that well. Act, Soul Blast 1, and retire one of your rear guards, um, and you flip any G unit uh, from face down to face up in your G zone. It gains the scale where after it attacks, you uh, Counter Blast 2, retire, or GB3, Counter Blast 2, retire three, two of your rear guards, and restand it, but it gains um, Drive minus 2. So it basically attacks, you do triple drive. Counter plus two, kill off three, restand, attack, and it does a single drive. Um, I don't really use that that often. Like, I've used it a couple times, and it's actually helped me win, or just helped me, like, push for damage. Uh, it's a, it's not a bad card. Like, there's no reason not to run it. Um, then I run four Dark Dragon Phantom Blaster Diablo. Uh, you guys definitely know this card. Um, act, counter plus one. Uh, and flip a copy of itself face up, or you know, G percent of blast as we call it. Uh, if the number of units in your G zone is uh, face up G units in your G zone is two or more, it gains 10k in a crit. And um, on attack, if you retire three of your own rear guards, your opponent must retire two of their rear guards. And if they don't, they can't guard from hand. So again, you can call out like, you know, if they have like two rear guards, something and one's a grade one or less, you can call out Blaster Dark uh, Abyss retire that grade one, now they don't have retire targets. Because if they can't retire two, they can't guard at all. So this makes for a good finisher, although I do prefer finishing with my grade threes, because not a fan of Diablo that much. And um, Supremacy Black Dragon, Aura Geyser Dragon. Love this card. This is your draw engine for the deck. It's uh, on attack, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, uh, flip a copy of itself, G Persona Blast, and uh, retire two of your rear guards. You check the top two, when it attacks, you check the top two of your, uh, top two cards of your deck, and for every grade one or lower, it gains 5k, and then you add those two cards to your hand. That's why you use it, because that gains two cards. Um, it's pretty much your first stride, like, you don't need two face-up G units or anything, so it's pretty good. Uh, in my recent games, it's actually the only G unit that I've used, because the deck either really finishes on Legion, or you just really, like, get scraped um so that's that's pretty much like the main unit in the deck uh and then for more more for filler i run two dark dragon distress dragon this card's pretty funny actually it's um act once per turn counter blast three soul blast three and then um g flip choose so flip any unit uh choose any number of your rear guards i retire them and for each unit that you retired your opponent has to retire one of their own and if the total number of, re of units retired is um, six or more, you get to counter charge one, soul charge one, and this unit gains 20k. So like, you know what? You can still use it. Like you might have some fun with it once in a while, you know, screw over your opponent's field or something. Um, like again, it's one of those cards where it's like, oh, no reason not to run this card. Reminds me of Tempest. It's better than Tempest. Uh, one Dark Knight Ephnician, um, it's on stride, choose one of your units, retire it, and this unit gains 7k, and the skill where if it hits the vanguard, retire one of their rear guards, you can just use it for some nice on-hit pressure. One Dark Knight, uh, Grim Recruiter, its skill is on hit, retire, on, when it hits the vanguard, retire one of, I mean, no, no retiring, sorry. When it hits your opponent's vanguard, search your deck for a grade one or lower, uh, unit and call it to rear guard a stand. So it helps to get out Karen on, uh, Karen on or you know any other grade one basically. Then um, I run four G Guardians. I run two Dark Knight Ludwig. This card kind of sucks but it comes in handy like once in a while. Its skill is um, when you guard with it ch you may choose choose up to one of your uh, grade one or lower units on rear guard and place it into Guardian Circle. So like Oh, I call a trigger to boost for an attack, and then next turn I can guard with this, and then I can, you know, guard with the trigger that I called earlier for a uh, nice, you know, 36k block or something. So it's not bad, but I wouldn't run more. And like, if I, believe me, if there was a better Shadowbond G Guardian, I definitely wouldn't run this card. 
what I prefer great. is running one metal element screw you. This unit is great. This is my like favorite G guard. It's um when you guard with it, just if you, if the number of G units face up in your G zone is two or more, or is it one or more? It's one or more. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, if like you already strode or already G guarded or something, uh, discard one card and it gains 10k shield. So it acts as like you know a 30k, a 36k guard. Uh, so it can stop a lot of attacks. Like just drop this and you know discard any other card, and that's already two to pass against a G unit. And then one dark element dismal. This card's pretty fun to use. Um, when you G guard with it, choose one of your units, and it gains. Um, yeah, well, it effectively gains resist. It's like, yeah, basically this unit and the chosen unit both gain resist. Uh, except the unit that gains resist, the, the rear guard that you choose to gain resist also can't be attacked. It can't be hit. So, you know, that can screw over brawlers sometimes, Jose. I hate you. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty good card. If you want, you could even ditch one Ludwig and uh, run two of it. So that's the deck. Um... I guess I just want to show the one combo that, like, you know, is that this deck is based around. It's, uh, because I know a lot of people have, like, said, you know, oh, you can't, you know, you can't do Legion scale and Break Ride scale all in the same turn. Wait, people but they're say wrong. that? Yes, people have tried to argue with me that you can't do that. That's dumb. They're wrong. Okay, so basically, I have the three soul, you know? It, okay, there's three soul. And I have, um, literally doesn't matter. Uh, you need one Charon. That's literally it. That's Wouldn't that's it be in the, the video, though. Huh? Wouldn't it be in the video? Is yeah, but like, uh, I mean, I, I don't. I'm not gonna tell them to go watch the video right now. Go watch the video, guys. It's a good video. <laughs> watch Miles get scraped by triple traders. Yep. Okay. Oh, so spoiler. you want to have for the combo? You need to be in Legion. You need to have um, break ridden that turn, and you and also you need to be able to pay the cost for break ride. So make sure you have three soul. Also, it's okay if you have two soul and you're uh, when you're on Phantom Blaster because the moment you ride it, it becomes soul. So if I have like two cards in soul and I'm on Vanguard, so I only have two cards in soul, I break ride, I can soul blast these three and still get the break ride cost. Um, so yeah, so you break ride, you gain the 10k, and you gain the special skill. Uh, now what happens is that, so like, you need to have, you know, the L shape with your three Revengers. You need to have three Revengers. And you need to have a column with at least Charon, uh, Charon in it. The other unit can be anything. Attack with the two Revengers first. It doesn't matter. Then boost and attack with your Vanguard now in Legion. So, like, 39. Um, you don't... You don't retire three Rearguards for the Break Ride skill yet. So, it's, you know, 30, 39, um actually give triggers to your vanguard because when it attacks again you're not going to have any rear guards so after it attacks you pay legion skill so you retire three and you restand it but you don't attack with it yet so it's just standing here at 30 at 32 base attack with your other column with karen in it and then um you know that doesn't matter again doesn't matter what the power is just attack with it then attack with your vanguard now you retire three rear guards because you have a grade three blaster Charon counts as three, it counts as two rear guards. So you're retiring one column, and that's three rear guards. That's how you pay the cost for the break ride. So you get to restand, attack again, draw two, unflip the th unflip two damage, you know, unflip three damage. So in other words, you literally get to like, you know, you don't need to, you effectively don't counterblast for the restand, and you get to plus another two cards. Um, it is already swinging for, you know, base 32k, and your opponent can't PG. So, it makes her for some pretty nice finishes. And you actually, like, in the majority of the games that I've used this deck, I've had plenty of hand to survive the next turn, even though I don't have, a, like, I don't have any field left. Literally, the only weakness is if you're fighting against Diablo. Um, it's a really good counter to yeah, the meta decks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, I like, yeah, well. it's good against control decks. Um... And if you, you know, you can always literally just re-ride another grade 3, and you can just re-legion again, because it's like you don't need to worry about the counterblast that you used up. So that's the deck build. Um, the next time you see me with a Shadow Paladin deck build, it's gonna be my, uh, Raging Form Abyss deck, just to show off what that was. I don't like it that much, but, um, might as well show it off, right? 
Uh, but aside from that, I'm pretty much done with Revenger, uh, like, trying to make them better and better until they get- unless they get more support. Uh, so the next, like, new Shadow Powder and deck build will hopefully be with their new support. You know, we have that new announcement that there's, like, an Aura Geyser Grade 3 or something, you know, and, like... Shadow Paladin's getting their new TD. Shadow Paladin's getting a TD and, uh, GBT09 support, so that's gonna be fun. Um, I'm excited for what they're gonna get. So... I'm not. <laughs> not a lot of people who don't run Shadow Paladin are. So, um, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to make any suggestions, you know, drop a comment, uh, hit like, or dislike if you want to be an asshole. Follow um, me on Twitter. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Follow me on Tout. Instagram, uh, Dark Edge, Dark Edge Boy, Edge Lord sixty nine. Um, no. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. This is Miles uh, signing off.